Welcome to the Paulson Topic Series. Today we're talking about tactical products and now we're going to discuss the DK5 series of riot face shields. The DK5 series of riot face shields was developed specifically for the military when they were utilizing just these uh, Pasket helmets. PASGT, Personal Armor Support Ground Troop. These types of helmets have a front brim and we use this front brim to mount our face shields onto with a strap that went around the back of the helmet. There's all different sizes. This happens to be an extra large helmet, but they made these from small through extra large. There's also different manufacturers and there's slight differences amongst the helmets just due to the differences of the size and the manufacturer and the manufacturing date. But all of them will be easily fit with our DK5 series. You may also use a DK6 series face shield that was a later development of Paulson Manufacturing on a Pasket helmet. Now speaking about the DK5 series, we used a nylon strap that went around the back of the helmet to secure it and then we provided a groove that the front brim would fit into. This groove allowed the shield to mount to the helmet and be very secure to the helmet with having a very lightweight adapter that did not uh, sacrifice performance just because of its lightweight because we used the strength of the helmet to support the face shield. We have a double seal. There's a seal on this side that seals against the helmet and there's a seal on the opposite side that seals this bracket portion against the shield itself. This way if liquids are poured on the top of the helmet they don't run to the interior of the shield. It was actually a requirement of the military to have this feature. We have a one-handed operation so that with just releasing this with one hand you can raise the shield or by lowering it with one hand it will automatically lock into position. This face shield is 8 inches long and in this case it's 0.150 inches thick. So it's a fairly thin relatively lightweight face shield and all of these other components are combinations of nylon and then also rubber elastomers for these seals. The next model in this series is the DK5H150AF. This has all the same features and benefits of the previous model but it also has a premium coating uh, on the front and an anti-fog coating on the in inside. This premium hard coat to the front prevents scratching just through normal use and abuse and the anti-fog coating will prevent it from fogging uh, when the shield is in the deployed position. The next model in this series is the DK5H150S. What's notable is that this shield is shorter. Naturally because it's shorter it's much lighter weight. And with the DK5 series because of this minimalistic bracket that's on the interior here. These are actually, this is our lightest weight face shield assembly that we make to fit riot helmets. The advantage of the shorter length is uh, obviously the weight but also that the nuclear, biological and chemical cartridges which can be very oversized are not, do not interfere with the shield when it's in the deployed position. This next model is the DK5 X.250. So this has the same bracket that's designed for the Pasket helmet, has all the same features and benefits, 8 inches in its length, 0.250 in its thickness, and it does not carry the hard coating on the front and the anti-fog to the interior. So this makes it a very high impact shield but also an economical de decision for your department. Working through all of the models in the DK5 series, we now come to the DK5X250S. So on this model, it has the 6 inch length, which would be the indicator from the S. It has a 250 on its thickness. It doesn't have any coatings on either side of the shield. So we have a very economical shield for price, but we have a very high impact shield and with a short length it clears the NBC cartridges on the gas masks.
Our next model is the DK5X250AF. This indicates that it's the full length shield, 250, so it's the thick model. It has the premium anti-scratch coating to the front and the anti-fog coating on its interior. All the other features and benefits are the same as in the, the DK5 series. Our next model in the series is the DK5X250HM. So on this shield it is the 250 or the thick model. It has the DK5 bracket, so all the same features and benefits. And we're adding in the hard mount accessories that will mount to the helmet and allow the face shield to mount in those positions. Again, these assemblies will fasten onto the helmet with the provided screws that come with this assembly and the instruction kit to mount it all. Then the face shield will attach to that with these accessory slots that you see inside here. So you have a directly mounted, screwed to the helmet face shield, very secure, and the 250 thick face shield, so you have a very heavy duty face shield. I'd like to now demonstrate how to mount the DK5 series of face shields onto a Pasket helmet. First step is assuring that you have a Pasket helmet, which has the front brim. Take the face shield and loosen this strap assembly so that it is approximately the right diameter for your helmet. The helmet diameter is very tremendously going from small through extra large. Put the face shield into this stowed position so that the face shield is at 90 degrees to the front of the bracket. Place the unit loosely over the top of the helmet. Once the unit is loosely placed over the front, work the front brim into the groove that is on our DK5 series bracket. You can now see that this is coming close to being aligned and centered. I'm keeping in mind what is the centering of the face shield right to left on this helmet. On the back of the helmet, we have two clips. Place these clips underneath the brim and push those up into place. Make sure that your hooks are evenly spaced across the back of the helmet and then push them forward and down to fully engage. Now they're secure. Tighten the strap and re-examine in the front that your unit is still centered. Turn over the helmet, double checking that the front brim of the helmet is really truly engaged into the slot in our bracket. At this point, you can test that the shield will fully deploy and raise once it's mounted. As a final detail, if this strap was too long, in other words, if you put this on a small helmet and you had excess material here, you can cut this strap to remove the excess material. We have alternative methods for mounting the DK5 series of face shields to Pasket helmets. This is the DK5H150HM, HM standing for hard mount. These hard mount brackets are designed specifically to fit the Pasket helmet and these eliminate the strap that goes at the back of the helmet. It provides an extremely secure fit onto the uh, Pasket helmet. There's an instruction sheet that comes with each of these kits and this instruction sheet details exactly how you take out which screws on the helmet and replace them with uh, the screw kit and how you mount these brackets on. Essentially, the bracket mounts here on the side at the same place as the chin, chin strap and to this first screw hole that's on the helmet. This creates a mounting platform with this fastener for our face shield to mount onto. This has an adjustment forward and back because of the different sizes of the helmets. Inside the bracket, you'll see that there's an accessory hole right here. This accessory hole is so that the screw from this unit will go through that accessory hole to mount the whole assembly to the side of the helmet. Again, mount this first, both sides. 
mount the face shield, center the face shield onto the helmet, tighten up all your fasteners, you have an excellent mounting platform on the Pasket helmet.